I read this book, Women Who Run With the Wolves. It's ancient and brilliant, and it comes from um, some of the most primal stories that have been passed down for, for forever, right? So much inspiration for me. Righteous rage. There are times when it becomes imperative to release a rage that shakes the skies. There is a time, even though these times are very rare, there is definitely a time to let loose all the firepower one has. It has to be in response to a serious offense. The offense has to be big and against the soul or spirit. All other reasonable avenues for change have to be attempted first. If these fail, then we have to choose the right time. There is definitely a right time for full bore rage. When women pay attention to the instinctual self, they know when it is time. Intuitively, they know when they act. And it is right. Right as rain. The wild woman archetype. These transient tastes of the wild come during the mystique of inspiration. Ah, there it is. Oh, now it has gone. The longing for her comes when one happens across somebody who has secured this wildish relationship. The longing comes when one realizes one has given scant time to the mystic cook fire, or to the dream time. Too little time to one's own creative life, one's life work, or one's true loves. Yet it is these fleeting tastes which come both through beauty as well as loss, that cause us to become so bereft, so agitated, so longing that we eventually must pursue the wildish nature. Then we leap into the forests, or into the desert, or into the snow, and run hard, our eyes scanning the ground, our hearing sharply tuned, searching under, searching over, searching for a clue, a remnant, a sign that she still lives, that we have not lost our chance. And when we pick up her trail, it is typical of women to ride hard to catch up to clear off the desk, to clear off the relationship, to clear out one's mind, turn to a new page, insist on a break, break the rules, stop the world, for we are not going on without her any longer. 